Hi, I'm Julie here at Green Acres Nursery and Supply and today it's all about garden care tasks for the month of May. May is a huge transition month where we really say goodbye to spring and we get ready for summer. We've got some advice for you this month on protecting from sun and heat, some talking about yellow leaves, and we've got some help for you for all the unwelcome visitors that might be showing up in your brand new spring garden. For the larger plants that you've planted, something with a trunk that's going to be exposed to the sun this summer, know that it might not develop a large enough canopy in time to protect that young, tender, sensitive trunk from all that sun and heat that we receive in our hot Mediterranean summers. One of the best ways to protect those exposed trunks is by using our tree safe paint. This is a sunburn control. It's already pre-mixed, you just give it a good shake, use anything you need to apply it with. Start about two inches above the soil line so you don't get dirt in your brush and paint up the trunk until you reach those branches and then you get to stop. Another excellent way to protect from extreme of sun and temperature is to reuse your frost cloth from the winter. In the winter you cover the whole plant to hold heat in so obviously we can't use it the same way in the summer. In the summer, we're gonna place a sheet of that frost cloth so that it's blocking that harsh setting sun, usually about 4 p.m. on, from hitting the trunk. It doesn't have to be right in front. It can be 5, 10, 20 feet away, so long as it's casting a shade at the right time. Something else that's really gonna make a difference in your yard and garden is mulch. Now maybe you're tired of me talking about it, but I'm still gonna do it, and here's why. Mulch is how you're gonna keep your irrigation in your soil longer. Mulch, when it's deep enough, at least three inches, it stops weeds from sprouting underneath, and those weeds are competing with your plants, so we need to put a stop to it. When you choose an organic material like wood chips, as it decomposes, it actually feeds the soil. So everything benefits from mulch. The only caution I have is don't have mulch against the base of the plant. You always need to pull it away a little bit because mulch, that's right, it holds in water. So if you have it here, we rot out the plant. Have some clearance about fingertip to wrist all the way around. So now is also the time that you might be starting to see some leaves that are turning yellow. So the first thing to know is if those leaves are just at the bottom of the plant, that's the normal cycle of older and newer leaves and that's not a concern. Generally, yellow leaves point to a food or fertilizer issue, too much or too little, so check on your fertilizer package, see if it's time to feed it. Check your soil with your finger, make sure it got dry a few inches before you water again. And sometimes when the leaf is yellow, but the veins are a different color, that's a sign of a micronutrient deficiency, perhaps iron. So if you've got acid-loving plants, azalea, camellia, or citrus or blueberries, you might find that deficiency on there. We've got ways for you to take care of that. Bring in a sample or a really nice picture to our people in the stores, and we're gonna find the right cure for you. May is the time that we get really excited because those little baby plants that we might have put in last fall or even early part of the spring are finally starting to put on some size. What's interesting is all those plants are almost 100% new, tender, tasty green growth, which is the attractor you want for all of those beneficial insects and sometimes it brings on too many of some not so beneficial insects. A lot of us are struggling with aphids, for example. As soon as your roses start to harden off their leaves and get more mature, the food supply for the aphids goes down and the problem gets a lot less. Be ready with your hose to blast them off and get some neem oil. Be ready though, this can be a two week process when this happens and then it starts to get a lot better. Whenever you're worried about an insect you see in your garden before killing it, go ahead and find out who it is and we can help you with that and help you find the right cure. Anytime you have a question, please come and see us. We've got experts ready to help and we're always available at idiggreenacres.com.